unboxing video, uh, as I explained, that I have more than one thing coming out of the same box, it's the same order, is this here. So I'm just going to open this up. It's a pan and tilt 1080 camera that you set in your house that you can move around. So it's a, it's a very neat camera. Um, where should I open it from? I'm seeing how this box actually opens. Nice. All right, so I'm just going to, it's completely shrink wrapped here in plastic. PT, pan and tilt. It's a nice box. <laughs> Just sliding out. Eh. Come on. It's like sliding ever so slowly. <sighs> Tight fit. Ah. ah, there you go. All right, so nice box. It's like a real nice cardboard shoe box kind of thing. Instructions: a little window sticker you can stick on the inside of your window. It's basically said protected by Zomoto. And that's how it came packed in the box. It's a cute little camera. So you have your power source. camera it's got some weight to it and then it also comes with two door sensors okay so okay it comes with door sensors their um, door sensors have 3m double-sided sticky tape so you literally just put them in, in place on the door there must be some kind of battery inside that tells this, but well, basically what it does is, I'm sure a door or a window, like if you were, if you were to say, do you see this from over there? Mm -hmm. If you were to say stick one on the window and stick it like this, so when the window opens, this leaves the other one and when it does, the camera is programmed to the position of whatever you have this attached to. And this camera will turn to that. It could be a door, it could be a window, but this comes with two of them in the box. So there's a one window, or door, and then let me go back here so you can see. So there's two window or door sensors here, the power source in the box, and then got taped up pretty well. Surprising, got some weight to it. Okay, it's got a base, and the purpose of the base is show you here. Take a power source, plug it in right here. Let's put a little slack on this line. Put the base down. base down across a couple lens. On the base of this has two metal contacts, two metal contacts here. Set it onto the base, now it's charging. Now the purpose of this camera is, is that you can take and literally have it sitting here on charge all the time if you want. And it's a two-way camera also, meaning that if something's going on or if your children or your dog is doing something not supposed to, you can be on your phone and talk to it and it'll talk through this to your children or your animals or whatever, or listen, you can you basically make have a full two-way conversation through this little camera. Um, it's got a speaker and everything on it. So it's a very neat camera, but now the other nice thing about this is, is if you have this fully charged and sitting here, it can sit on this stand all the time. But if you decide, you know what, I wanna put it over by the front door, you can take that and you can get a few hours. I don't know exactly what the runtime is on it for recording video, but it'll record video for, I don't know, three, four hours. 
you know, something like that? I think it's up to three hours. Yeah, three hours? Okay. So you can get three hours of video recording off the base. It's, so it's got an onboard battery on this, and you still get your pan and tilt function out of it. So, you know, it's a neat little setup, and, uh, you know, we're going to give it a try here in this video once we get the full Zimoto system up and running. We'll be testing this out and showing you how it works. It sees me over here, and as I walk, it's going to track and follow me wherever I move in the house. Uh, battery, battery powered, it's got a few hours worth of um, charge if you take it off and you walk it to another area of the house. Still connected to it, I think. Oh, reconnecting. Catches up. Okay, so where it's at now, same thing. Can pan. It's got a delay. Definitely has a delay. No matter. The Wi-Fi video, if you're, um, there's two cameras downstairs that are Wi-Fi, uh, this one's Wi-Fi also, and it's it's sending the video via Wi-Fi, and you see there's like up to a 10 second delay, sometimes even longer, but just, it, I'd say it goes on internet speed or something to that effect, but it really, it varies. It, 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 sometimes there's almost no delay, and other times there's a delay. It could be the kids playing on the internet and slowing it down. I don't know what it is. So, but... Like I said, I have it in a different part of the house. I could put it downstairs in a room or a hallway or something and, you know, or to watch a baby's crib if you wanted to. And, you know, just a short period of time or you let your kids out back by the pool and you just want to keep an eye on them. I wouldn't recommend, you know, doing that, but you never know. So, you can move it all around and it's neat to be portable. Pick it up now. And... On the bottom of this, over here, the base of this has little connections to charge it, okay? Except for one of them is a rectangle and one of them is basically an oval. So you can't just set it back on it and hope it's, you know, connects. You can, you can see rectangle, oval. So there, that, that makes a connection here. So you put it on wrong, it's not going to sit on it. It's not going to even get a charge. You have to get it on to make sure it's just right. And then usually, once you set it on, it makes that connection. It'll like rotate all the way around and then reset itself to like center. All right, so you use, um, read the instructions that comes with it. It'll tell you how to link it. Um, just because I've done different ones in the house and I'm not, you know, I don't want to give you the wrong instructions. But it's kind of a pain in the butt to do, to, to get it linked. It, you would think it would be easier, and the other thing is, is you want it to be right next to your Wi-Fi in your house. You get it right next to your Wi-Fi so it's getting the best possible signal for linking it, because if, if you were upstairs and your Wi-Fi is downstairs, and you're just far enough away, it, it's really not getting strong enough signal to really be, uh, to make that connection quickly. So be right next to your Wi-Fi, that's the best thing I'd say. The other thing that I do not like, um, I wish this thing had an on-off switch, and it doesn't. This, this here, and nowhere on it, is there an on-off switch. So if I want to go and take this home to my other house and use it there, I have to take it off of here and let it completely die. Completely, completely dead. And once it's dead, then you can take and set it back on the base and the light will start blinking so that way you can link it. It's the only way. So there should be an on off switch. I'm half tempted to take this apart and put a little switch in it so that way I can turn it off and turn it back on. You know, it, there really should to me, wherever the battery is in this thing, maybe I'll do a video for that tearing this thing apart. But um, yeah, put a little tiny switch in here. You know, drill a hole in the case, put a switch in it so you can turn it off 
and then turn it back on and make it make it easy link. I don't know why Zomoto didn't make it. It's it's an excellent little device for watching your house, but just the one thing that thing should have is an on off switch. That's my biggest complaint with this. So. All right, before I do that, um, on the screen here, there's a little HD button. You can have a lower definition if you say your cell phone or something has poor signal, you can decrease the quality of the picture coming to the camera. So I have it on the high definition, the 1080. And also here you can take snapshots or video of whatever this is viewing right on the screen. You can just touch the button, you know, take a snapshot um, or record video. If you want to record whatever's going on in this room, it, you know, so, so they're saved into my phone. Those things I just did. Uh, the other thing is here, you can say if he's sitting in there and he's making noise or there's something going on in the room and you want to hear it. I turn the, the microphone, uh, I turn the speaker on so you can actually hear what's going on in the room here. So, but now he's sitting there and I, let's say I want to, you know, uh, if I had a dog and my dog was chewing something he wasn't supposed to, I could say, hey, knock that off or... Or, or let's say a baby in a crib, you could talk to him while the baby's in the crib. But here, I'm gonna call Nicholas. You can see the little microphone moving. Hey, Nicholas, can you hear me? Hey, are you able to turn it up? Um, yeah, actually, I think I can turn up. Hold on one second. Let me go to my settings here. Preset, device volume settings. Turn the volume up. Okay. And go back. Can you hear me? Yeah. Is that better? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I turned the volume up so you can hear it. You got the speaker on so you can hear him talk, and it's moving around by itself because while well, he's wiggling in the chair, so it try to stay still for a second. I put on the, um, you go up here, you can go to motion tracking. Motion tracking is an on off feature that allows you to track something that walks by the camera. It could be a person, it could be a dog, or somebody spinning in a chair, which will drive the camera nuts. So that little hum sound you can hear is the camera adjusting itself, going, mm, 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 moving around. Um, hey, Nicholas. Hey, Nicholas. I need paper. I need some paper towels. Can you bring me some paper towels? Yeah. Oops, he ran so fast out of the screen, <laughs> the camera lost him. Let's go over here. Hey, Nicholas. What? There we go. You were so fast. Move back a little bit. I can't see you. You move too fast. So anyway. I move too fast? <laughs> this back. Yeah, all your wiggling. Okay. Catch up here. See. All right. Bring me paper towels. So I can I can hear myself talk up there. And I'm like a, okay. s not even a second delay. So, and he went downstairs. All right. Oh, thank you for the paper towels on the floor. <laughs> All right. All right. Thank you for your assistance. You're welcome. Is that it? Yeah, I think that's it. to wave by on the camera. That's a good session. <laughs> Jeez. Bye, Bye Nicholas. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay. The end. Every device, doesn't matter what it is, TV or, you know, anything, anything you buy anymore. There's pros and cons to everything. So this here has pros and cons.
Definitely does. Um, for the money, I like it. I would buy another one if I had to. Um, so that's my unboxing video for this Zomoto Pan and Tilt camera. Uh, I hope you like it. Um, I guess like, share, and subscribe because you never know what I'm going to do next.